Hi and welcome again to another not so weekly edition of RC Model Reviews news on YouTube and this week there's really only one thing to talk about. It's the new version of DSM from Spectrum called DSM X and at this stage X is the unknown because we don't know how well it works. However, I have some clues. A little while ago I tested this, the JRDSMJ system, which is based on the same hardware as DSM2, but it's constantly agile, it constantly hops. It is a frequency hopping system and it worked really, really well. It's a very, very good system and I said so in my review. Now it seems, and I certainly hope, that what's happened is Spectrum have finally woken up to the fact that if you're going to produce a robust resilient system that will work in today's extremely noisy and congested 2.4 gig band, you have to have constant agility. So DSM-X has been announced and Spectrum are telling us that it is constantly agile and it is much better in a high noise environment. So there you go. If you are a DSM-2 user, then I really recommend that you upgrade because there's not, not, nothing to lose. It is fully backwards compatible with DSM-2 and DSM-2 is forwards compatible with DSM-X, which means if you pay the $75 to have your transmitter upgraded to the new technology, then you can still use all your old DSM-2 receivers. You can't use DSM receivers, the original ones, but you can use DSM-2 receivers. Can you use the Chinese clones? We don't know. Have they put some extra code in there to disable the use of these Chinese clones? If I was Horizon, I'd be thinking along those lines myself, but whether they did or not, we won't know until the product hits the streets. But in the meantime, if you want the kind of bulletproof resilience and, and strength of connection that only constant frequency hopping can produce, despite what they used to say about DSM-2, then you've got to go for DSM-X or DSM-J or one of the other full-time frequency hopping systems. It's the only way to cope with today's modern increasingly congested 2.4 gigahertz band, in my opinion. So there we go. Spectrum have swallowed their pride and finally gone to frequency hopping. Damn good news for all you Spectrum users. And good on you Spectrum for Horizon for having the guts to summon up your courage and say, well, yeah, you people that were complaining, you were right, we were wrong, so we have fixed it. Excellent. Thumbs up to Horizon, thumbs up to Spectrum. I'm hoping that I'll have a system to test and review fairly shortly. Um, obviously, as regular viewers and readers will know, Horizon have never really responded to my requests to answer questions, uh, so we'll wait and see. Will this change of face in respect to frequency hopping also see a change of attitude to RC model reviews? I don't know. I've already reviewed a frequency hopping system based on their hardware, and it's really, really good. So do they have the courage to submit a system for review? Only time will tell. If they don't, I'll see if I can grab one from somewhere else and put it through the tests. So that's really all I have to talk about today because it's such a big thing. I know lots of people have emailed me with questions, asking questions, you know, what about this, what about that, what about the other? I don't know because I know about as much about DSM-X as you do and a lot less than the people at Spectrum themselves know. I'd love to ask Spectrum some questions. In fact, I may do that and I'll see if I get any replies to my emails. Who knows, it could herald the new era of an open communications with Horizon. Wouldn't that be great for everybody? In the meantime, I thank you for watching this mini weekly, almost weekly, news update from RC Model Reviews and I look forward to seeing you again very soon with lots more reviews and interesting feature articles. Bye for now.